So I'm gonna give you my favorite primers when it comes to painting kitchen cabinets. So for wood cabinets, I'm always gonna say oil-based primer is gonna be your best option. However, oil-based primers really stink and they're kinda of hard to work. You can get this primer from Kills, which is a low order primer and the smell's not too bad. The next primer I'm gonna suggest is a shellac based primer. I like using this white pigmented shellac and the reason why I like it is because it dries really fast. Now these two primers are the best because they're the only primers that will stop tan and bleed, which I'll get to in a little bit. Now when you're using these primers, you're gonna to have to use a natural bristle brush. You're also gonna need paint thinner. That's the only way you're gonna clean up any spills and messes. Now these primers are very potent, so you're gonna to have to have a well ventilated area. And you're definitely gonna need a respirator. It's very important that you use a respirator, trust me. One time I didn't use my respirator and I almost passed out from the fume. Now if you don't feel comfortable using solvent based primers, there's another app. The next primer I'm gonna suggest are water based and they're much easier to work. So another product I'm gonna suggest is Extreme Bond Primer. Like I said, this is a water based primer and it's uh, urethane modified, which means it kind of acts like an oil based primer, but it's water. -based. The last one was Sharon Williams. This is the Benjamin Moore product called Styx, S-T-I-X, kind of hard to see but it's a urethane modified primer, which works really good too. Now the only real downside to these water-based products is that they don't block stains. So you'll get something like this sometimes, which is called the tan and bleed. And although these primers say that they're stain blocking, they're really not. But if you end up using these water-based primers, which they're really good and I really suggest using them, and you end up with these type of stains, these tan and bleed, you can always fix those spots by spraying them with an oil-based or a shellac-based primer out of the can. Now here's a trick of the trade that you can use to minimize the risk of getting tan and bleed when using water-based primers. Have the paint store tint your primer gray. So by tinting your primer gray, you're going to reduce the chance of this happening. So to sum it all up, oil-based primers are going to be your best choice. Urethane modified primers are going to be your second choice, but you might get bleeding. And if that helped, hit one of these buttons. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below.